the term demand can be better understand with the help of the given diagram so in the diagram there is one x-axis and one y-axis the origin is given by the term o so the x-axis that is o x axis represented the quantity of a commodity and the o y of axis is the price axis that means the o y axis represented the price of the commodities so in x axis we measure the quantity demanded of a commodity and the o y axis represents the price of the respective commodities so when the price of a commodity is o p 1 that means op1 is the price then the quantity demand is given of that particular commodity is oq1 but when price reduces to op2 the quantity demand of that commodity is increases to oq2 so from this diagram we can under we can say that if price falls the quantity demand increases if price increases the quantity demand falls that means there is an opposite relationship between the price and quantity demand of the commodity. So, if the basic points that is uh, the point OP1 when uh, the price OP and quantity is OQ1. So, that particular point and when the price is OP2 and the quantity demand is OQ2 that particular point we can joint then we will get one curve that curve is downward sloping curve and that downward sloping curve is the demand curve so demand curve are formed with the help of various combinations of price of a commodity and the respective quantities available on that particular price so the demand curve from this diagram we can see we see that the demand curve is a downward sloping curve this the, the basic region of this downward sloping curve is the opposite relationship between price and quantity demanded of that particular commodity so we can see from this diagram that if price increases the quantity demand falls and if price falls the quantity demand increases so we can say that there is a negative relationship or inverse relationship between the price of a commodity and quantity demand of that particular commodity during due to this opposite relationship the demand curve is downward sloping demand curve from left to right so this is the demand curve 